Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And as we promised today, guys, the budget 2020, the union budget of 2020 was good, but it was really good. But this income tax regarding the people payout tax, because we, I, I think we usually post about shares, but I think uh, posting this video about income tax could benefit a lot of our people who are seeing this. So it is a small gimplis of we are income tax we are giving to you guys because after seeing this you could get a view about it and if this video reaches at least a uh, thousand views we sure we sure that we will put a deep view on how this income tax will affect this payment guys and moving on let us see about this guys so before going to this video if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get your latest updates and whatnot, guys. And moving on, Finance Minister Nimla Sitaran said today, guys, she has slashed the personal income tax for the individuals in physical year 2020 to 21. I mean, for the coming 2000 year 20 to 21, FY20 and 21, she has reduced the income tax rate. So, how she has reduced what are the current slabs of rate? Under the new regime, taxpayers, I mean the taxpayers who are paying taxes will have to pay in this slab. First slab is 10%, next slab is 15% and next slab is 20% and 25%. But to be clear and precise, so people who are earning between 5 lakhs to 7.5 lakhs have to pay 10% 10, 10 of their tax and from 7.5 lakhs to 10 lakhs it is around 15%. And from 10 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs, it is 20%. And 12.5 lakhs to 15 lakhs, it is 25%. But this is a good benefit. But if you think the next slide, guys, the next slide is very, very important. But it has over time, guys, and you can see here, income below 2.5 lakhs, 2.5 lakhs would be exempted. And we have said that. Income below 2.5 lakhs will continue to remain exempt while income between 2.5 would continue to get rebate. As per 87A, they will give a rebate. Actually, there was a rebate under if you went 3 lakhs, they have given around the rebate of so thousands of amount, guys. And now they are saying you don't want to pay any tax up to 5 lakhs, but 2.5 lakhs is exempted. So if you earn about 2.5 lakhs to 5 lakhs, they will give the rebate for this tax assumed so that your income, I mean, the two overall become zero. So he has suggested that, F1, I mean, financial minister Sitaram also suggested that someone earning 15 lakhs, some, I mean, someone earning yearly 15 lakhs could be benefited by as much as 78,000 rupees. Through the benefits that individual taxpayers will get from this announcement will, will depend upon they take this benefit or not. So what was the benefit guys? The benefit of this, as I said earlier, if this as if we take this new regime, he has said that they would easily gain this amount of exemption. So the next slide we're moving on, he has said that in order to provide a significant relief to individual taxpayers and simplify income tax law. I propose to bring a new and simplified personal income tax regime wherein income tax rate will be significantly reduced for the individual taxpayers. So guys, what they have said is very very important to you know because it is cut on the knife. So what is cut on the knife because that one side there is a benefit but another side there is a negative work. So what is that you ask me, in order to acquire this benefit taxpayers would forego certain deductions forego certain deductions this means only as per the new regime only the tax rates would be reduced but if you see the overall the certain deductions what you want to get would not be allowed the fm said in speech also they have said that the new personal income tax will entail estimate revenue foregone of 40000 crore per year she said i so she said that due to the implementation of this new regime, if people follow that new regime, that means 40,000 crore, 40,000 crore would be the rationalized amount would be the foregone. And she has said also that it was surprising to note that 
currently more than 100 exemptions and deductions of different nature are provided to income tax ad so what is this section guys for example house rent allowance rent rent free allowance furnished home allowance government allowance and also people living in tribal area there are allowance education allowance so they have i mean i have means they have removed around 70 of them in a new simplified regime we will review and rationalize the remaining exemption in the tax rate and therefore she has said that the last major change in income tax was made in 2014 when the first time india came into uh, i mean into the action of political and modi government present the first union, union budget and she also said that the highest rate of tax applicable to an individual was raised to 42.744 percent in sub in June 2019 when the full budget of 1920 was presented the previous maximum rate was 35.88 percent this jump is as even at the super rich and they have said that this has affected the super rich also that is 38.55 to 40 2.74 percent that means if you earn 100 rupees if you, are, if you are a super rich if you earn 100 rupees i think for across 20 you will be paying 50 rupees guys and this was what they have done and they have said that the income category of accounts was 63 percent 3.49 gross I mean 5.52 gross the total income tax filed return in which 3.49 gross of who filed income tax return the remaining 37 percent or paying more tax by way of success in case of total income exceeds 50 lakhs. So she said this guys and what would be the nature of this income tax that would be affecting these people guys if you ask me I think it, would, it is a nice plan but you see that you have to forego certain deductions in order to get this benefits on this is our view on budget 2020 guys and like this video make sure you share this video to your friends and don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please click the subscribe button so that you could get our latest updates and whatnot guys. Thank you for peacefully listening to us in this video. Thank you so much.